Hello folks, Johnny Bag of Donuts here. Hope everyone's having a good holiday. And today, I am bringing you my top five favorite things in Warframe from 2016. Number five was Tenocon. Now I get it, I can hear you already getting ready to start typing furiously in the comments. That's not, was not actually something part of the game. It didn't happen in game. It happened in real life. Um, up there in Ontario for the first time in three years we all got to come together as a group meet each other you know I met Daniel the Demon he's awesome Rebecca and Megan were amazing I was lucky enough to have a brunch with the Debs we had some poutine and everything in the studio got to do the studio tour and it was absolutely amazing I mean it really was I can't even stress how freaking awesome that was they're great people they have a great game they put on a good convention number four the War Within, the long-awaited War Within. We waited so long for this. When we got it, I was afraid it wasn't going to meet expectations, and it blew them away. We got the Kuva Fortress maps, which are very long, very hard to do, but man, they're amazing. It's just the way I picture the Gurnier Fortress being for the Twin Queens. It was just well worth the wait for me. Like, I'm really glad it happened the way it did, and they took their time with it because it was an amazing result. Number three, Nidus. The new infested theme Warframe Nidus is hands down my new favorite frame. I think they did an amazing job with his power synergy, how he kind of has an immortal mechanic that spins off his one and his four. I mean, it's just a great, great Warframe. If you have not got this Warframe, do yourself a favor, go get it. Number two, the Silver Grove. And I know what you guys are thinking, oh, those are just two updates. Look, Silver Grove is awesome. Titania, hands down my number three favorite Warframe at the moment, is basically Ant-Man in a Warframe that does butterflies instead of ants. Like, it's so cool. Her alt, she turns into a little arc wing, flies around the level, blasting fools in the head. I mean, it's, it was an amazing update. And all the hot fixes that came with it, there were some problems. DE went ahead and fixed those problems. You know, Skippy, they went, went at it real quick, got taken care of them. So, in my heart, Silver Grove this year was a little bit better than War Within, slightly better than Nidus, so it's my number two. And my number one favorite thing that DE did with Warframe this year was the Ash rework. Ah, yeah, I know, oh my god, I can hear all the typing right now, but listen to me. I'm an Ash main, I love Ash. I used to be a Saren main, and then when they did her rework and Mag's rework, it crushed me, because I don't use those frames anymore. I was like, man, and I was so afraid DE was going to butcher this rework, call it a, a rework, and it'd actually just be a straight nerf. And I, I, I was like, oh, man, I didn't even want to log in that day. Lo and behold, the day came, the rework came out. I love what they did with Ash's powers. I actually prefer the way Bladestorm works now over the way that it used to work. I think it's one of the best reworks I have ever seen anyone do. You know, Steve, Grenier, you guys did a great job, man. Like, it was awesome. So I salute you on that one. It's my number one for 2016. Can't wait for next year to kick some more ass in Warframe.